welcome back. Now, whether it's pop music or musical shows, here's a lady that's at home with both. She's not at home at the moment, she's here. <laughs> and let's see her, the very talented Susie Quattro. Yes. <laughs> Again. And thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Really is lovely. Now, what are you doing uh, at this uh, present moment? I'm on the show. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing apart from that? Um, I've got a new single coming out in March, which I'm actually oh, good. zipping up the old leather jumpsuit again. Oh, yes, you the know, old leather gear, yes. yes. We know you for the you leather like it, gear. Do oh, you? I love the leather gear, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I polish mine every day. <laughs> Now then, yes, so, yes. so what's it called? Um, it's called Baby, You're a Star. Good. So good. that's the plug for that. Yes. And I got a musical that I've written with uh, Riddy Rushton. You've written it because you love doing Annie, didn't you? Oh. I, I mean, I, I saw you many it's times fun. talking about it and yeah. speaking about it, but you love doing it. So now you've written one? Yes. With who? With Riddy Rushton. He did the book William and, Rushton? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, and I did the music and it's called Tallulah. Tallulah? Mm -hmm. Is it not about Tallulah Bank? Tallulah, yes, darling. It is about yes. Tallulah Bank. Oh, Margaret. You know, yes. And you can do a bit of the voice. I, I certainly already. can. Yeah. Well, we wish you good luck with Thank your you. acting career. Now, your little clue was, um, it was that clog, clog, but it yes. should have been a bag of flour, we think. But right. now, we'll explain that now. Okay, Off we go. This, this kid, he's the youngest challenger ever to appear on the show. His name is Neil Everett. He's eight years old. He's an expert on British windmills. He says... He can recognize 12 British windmills chosen by a member of the audience from a selection of 50 black and white photographs. And he will tell us the name of the windmills and when they were built. What about that? 12 mm. out of 50, the name of the windmill and mm -hmm. when they were built. Yeah. Well, now, that's a puzzler. What about you, John? What very, do you think? very close. My brain's flip-flopping between the favourites. So I think I'll go 11 to 10 on each of two. Yes. Oh, I want it. Susie to win. I'll go yes. Yes for Susie. <laughs> yes, well, we'll try and work that out later. <laughs> <laughs> when we put the rewind button going. Right. Now then, Bob. I think I'm going to sail in the other direction. You are? Yes. All right. I think he's taken on more than he can chew. I'm going to go... No. You're going to go for a no. Right. All right, thank you, Bob. Right. Now, what about there? What do you think about this eight-year-old? Are you on the side of this little chap? If you think you'll do it, make your bet. Keep your buttons down for at least three or four seconds and do have a bet at home, especially you eight-year-olds. Have a bet with Dad or Grandma or Grandpa. 63, say yes, and no's 37. Mm. Well, now, if it does go wrong, should by chance, oh. Neil lets you down. Yes. Well, what are you prepared to do, well, Susie I'm, Quattro? <laughs> I'm not really prepared to do it, but it's something <laughs> I wouldn't like to do. You would like to I do. wouldn't like to be a waitress. A waitress? Yes, because I would be, it would be, I would be hard pushed to be polite for too long. <laughs> <laughs> you would like to have to try to be nice to people. Not for that long, especially no. at the table, and some people could be very awkward Well, customers. I can spill food very easily. Oh, actually, I see, so see. you'd I'm be a either. naughty waitress. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, if it comes to that, we know what you're prepared to do. Back to home right, base. Okay. Susie? There we are. Well, now, if you'll uh, bring on the pictures, the windmill pictures, while I get a member from our audience to pick out the 12. Thank you very much, Ellis. Thank you, my darling. Now, who should we have here tonight? La, 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 la. I think we'll have a chat for this. What about you, sir? Oh, All right, right. It's fine. <laughs> come along. Are you with anybody? Yeah, you with a group? So, yes. a, a group of people? No, just the, oh, just the four of you. Where are you all from? Uh, Watford. From Watford? I think. And your name? Uh, Steve Tuckfield. Steve? Tuckfield. Tuckfield. OK, fine. Now, Steve, all you've got to do... What do you do, by the way? Uh, ductwork fitter. A what? Uh, air conditioning fitter. Air conditioning fitter. Right, we need some air tonight. Right. <laughs> now, then, all I want you to do is pick out 12 of these windmills and give them to me. Oh, but six from this side and six from that side. Be as varied as you want to be, OK? And off you go. What's Ken? What did you say? Steve. Steve, that's right. <laughs> Just give, give, them to, give them to me one at a time. I knew I shouldn't have picked him. <laughs> that's it. Five. That's three. And four. That's it. Another two. Five. Well done. Six well done, Fred. It was Fred, wasn't it? That's right. That's right, Steve. <laughs> now six from here. OK. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thank you, George. OK. OK. <laughs> so, we can't wait to get off. You're a star. All right, then. 
clear them off. Right. Thank you very much, Steve. OK? Off you go. Well, now. We're all ready. So here's our eight-year-old wonder with the windmills. And they're all on his mind, we hope. Neil Everett. There we are. How are you? All right. Good. And you're feeling fine? Yes. Good. Lovely. Now, you almost have a look at that lovely sweater, cos that's a windmill, isn't it? Is that a windmill? Yes. It is a windmill. And who made that for you? Grandma. Your grandma, <laughs> bless her. Does she make you lots of things? Yes. And does she so... give you lots of money? What? <laughs> does she give you lots of money? No. No. <laughs> well, I think she will after that. Right. <laughs> now, tell me, where are you from? Boston in Lincolnshire. Boston in Lincolnshire. I see. Fine. And do you have any other hobbies apart from the windmills here? Steam trains. Steam trains. Oh, you love steam trains. Good. Have you got any? A train set. A train set. I see. And steam trains. Fine. I see. Good. Now, have you got a girlfriend at the moment? No. <laughs> Nothing serious. No. Oh, good. You've got loads of time. Anyway, this was your own idea, this windmill uh, yes. challenge, wasn't it? Well, we thank you very much for thinking of it. And thank you. When did you first take up being interested in, in uh, windmills? Since birth. <laughs> yes, well, I, I know I couldn't go back to there. <laughs> We can think about that. Well, now, are you ready to take this on? Yes. Oh, good, and we all wish you all the luck in the world, OK? <laughs> we all wish you all the luck in the world. So come over here and be sort of on that little angle there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to keep doing them in that order, top to bottom, OK? You quite ready? Yes. Good. All right, Neil, we all wish you good luck. We'll start with this top one. Snainton, Nottingham, Nottinghamshire, 18 7. Stainton, Nottinghamshire, 1807. Yes! <laughs> well, OK. The next one. Clay, Norfolk, 1713. Clay, Windmill, Norfolk, 1713. <laughs> well done. We're doing all right. Alford, Lincolnshire. What was that? Sorry, what was that? Alford, Lincolnshire, 1813. Alford, Lincolnshire, 1813. Yes! <laughs> Come on. Blue it's the next line now. Thaxted, Essex, 1804. Thaxted, Essex, 1804. Wonderful. Ellis's Mill, Lincoln, 1798. Ellis Mill, Lincoln, 1798, it is. Good. Kibworth Harcourt, Leicestershire, 1711. Kibworth Harcourt, 1711. You're right again. Marvellous. 